Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Today I am looking at uh, Chaos Reborn, which is a recreation of the classic game of Chaos, which is a turn-based wizarding combat game. It is uh, updated, where uh, it has hex des hexes instead of regular things, and I have a bunch of spells, which I can't talk about because on the other line is Unstable Voltage. Hello. Hello there. Hi, I'm going to try and kill you now. Nothing um, personal. I am... I am going to try this. Ooh, you moved and you summoned a dwarf. Look at that, and it's all its awesome dwarfishness. It uh, definitely evokes... Yes, some target practice indeed. Well, let me try this. Actually, that would be a really bad idea if I was to do that. I, I, I think... um. I think I'll do this. Oh, wait a second. Uh, before I do this, before I do this, I should probably move. I'm gonna go here. Yes, run and, then... run and hide. <laughs> hide? I'm going to bring forth my forces to fight your lawful dwarf with my chaotic goblins. Oh, so that's how it's going to be. Yes, it's called, it's called chaos for a reason. Now, these two characters face off quite well against each other because goblins are fast and good at attack, but dwarves are slow and good at defense. I wonder mm. who will win that fight. Oh, well. So my dwarf with his stumpy little legs is going to move forward as far as he can. Ah, yes. We call him Stumpy the Dwarf. Stumpy the Dwarf. And I am going to... Hmm. So you like to play with chaos, do you? Oh, you're bringing up zombies? I'm bringing forth the undead. Well, two can play at that game. And in fact, more than two people can play this game, but I'm going to summon... Uh, yeah, that will go that way as well. Oh, no, my zombie casting failed. Now it is me versus two of you guys. I guess I'm going to have to run around here keep my distance until I can run straight at you and and deliver an attack on your dwarf. Yes, but my dwarf is just going to come after you. So, yeah, so this is basically a recreation of the classic 8-bit chaos, right? Which was in a one screen, you know, squares, bunch of monsters, and more fun than was ever possible on a Sinclair ZX Spectrum than any other game, basically. It was. I mean, it was. Uh, it took place on a on a black screen, on a 10 by 50 You could have up grid. to eight players. Could, yes. Um, and even though it was so simple and it, it, it looked so basic, but it was just so addictive and so much fun. You know, I used to really like just creating like eight players with the names of famous wizards and making them all controlled by the computer. And just watch them fight it out. And, you know, we'd place bets with my brothers on which one would win. Oh, no player interaction at all. Just let the AI duke it out. Yeah, and that's actually one of the coolest ways to play the game right now. Because you can do that. You can go to like zxspectrum.net and play the an emulated version. Okay, let's try this. Zapping you. Oh. Spells lost. Ha 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 ha. I've lost two spells. Yes. And now I'm going to whack your dwarf. I take great offense. Yes. Whacking the dwarf. <laughs> but now, you know, I, I lost one spell and you lost two spells. I'm not sure that's such the advantage, but... Ah, but it all depends on which spells I lost because it could have been something with a really high percent chance to cast. Well, or you lost the elephant, right? Really useful. Uh, I think there was another mount that I lost as well. Oh, you, oh, you can ride the elephants. That's right, because you, you can. Because one of the the important things was you can ride your beasties and you can conjure magical weapons and magical armor. You can conjure spells that take over the board slowly. And uh, you can create magical castles, magical woods. It's like all the wizard memes. Oh my god, I'm just like totally facing off. You, you now have successfully got a the trifecta here, more or less. You have the chaos, the law, and the, the... Yeah, chaos and law, I guess. No, you haven't got a neutral. I'm confused. 
<sighs> random numbers going in my favor the random once. numbers are going in your favor i think what what shall i do uh, it won't last yeah that uh, is highly unlikely to be pulled off but i'm gonna try this one come on work for me thank you oh, okay a goblin. There have been many battles between great mages that have been decided at the last turn of the game. I guess I have to finish combat against that guy. I can't move now, right? Because yes, I couldn't the attack order. the zombie. Uh, oh, zombie is an undead creature. Can oh, I can oh, the goblin can't... Oh, right. So you've got that one thing there. It can, I, can be at I can attack it, though, right? Because I have my magic staff. You can attack it. Of course, you'd be much better if you had a shield or a bow. Oh, yeah, I should probably do that. Then maybe yeah. I, maybe I have one of those. But you're not exactly a battle mage at the moment. No, yeah. Have you? Did you get a magic sword? Oh, oh, my I goblin! Did. I have a magic sword. My goblin has succumbed. No, this. Uh, at least I'm up on a hill, so it's hard for those guys to get up here, right? It is, and if you attack downwards, you do get a combat bonus for the high ground. Oh, can I actually attack downwards two squares down, or? Uh, you can only attack the adjacent squares in uh, melee, and it only works uh, between... Oh, no! Levels. Oh! Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. This is not good. Not oh, good! I, I can still cast a spell as well, which makes me wonder if it's worth me just trying to go for something... Uh, yeah, something you, this, risky. Yeah, you know, I'm wondering how many of these... Maybe I should try disbelieving some of these things. Oh! Oh, you got a spider?! And there's something else for ah! <laughs> I'm not... This is not going the way I wanted it. Uh, yes, let me try just summoning a, something really ridiculous. No, um, I could I could actually... Uh, oh, that's actually a good plan. Let's try this. Oh, okay. So at least I've got something here to stem all those non-undeads. Well, it certainly helps to have something between you and I. It Yes. See, the thing about dwarves and the thing about zombies, they're expendable, but they're very, very slow. Of course, my lion can't do anything about that zombie, which is a little bit of a problem for me. Yes. That was totally as I planned it. Sort of. Not all of all. a sudden, the tides of war change i don't know if the tide uh, yeah the tides seem to be very much going against me now uh the spider isn't undead right the spider is not undead but oh. it uh, it has a special ability oh and it has the ability to web other creatures in place and immobilize them oh that's interesting so there's a way to activate special oh god you get an elephant as well Come on! Come on! Okay, it's my turn. Um, you know what? That's going to move there. And this... Uh, you know, maybe if I do that... And maybe... I don't believe it. Oh, no, what? Your elephant is real! It Come on! It is real. It There's is no real illusions elephant. on this board? <laughs> I I thought surely the elephant was was a fake. Man, at, at least I am happy that people who will be able to see this from my point of view will know that I'm not actually cheating, and that I am actually managing to cast things. <laughs> as strange as this is, well, we can... <laughs> this is terrible. It does oh. not always happen. Have I? Have I get? Wait, have I get? I, have I? I've done all my stuff. I think yes, it's on, I'm on it's, it's your my turn. turn now. It's your turn. Okay. I'm I'm considering trying. I've got such a huge board advantage at the moment, which doesn't mean I'm going to win. But I'm in such a cocky position right now. I feel that it's worth trying to cast something that has a limited chance of working just for the fun. Yeah. Of okay. And this is this is it. Like where it can really flip around completely. You're gonna. Oh. oh. Wait, it you, was a fail. As you mounted your elephant, you failed to cast what? Green dragon or something? It was a green dragon. Yes. I don't know. I must have just seen that subliminally because I didn't see the... I don't remember it. 
Oh, I stand corrected. Apparently, my spider is an undead, and I was not aware of that. Wait, the, the spy, you, this, it's a spider that's undead, <laughs> and it can web me? The spider is an undead spider. What? That's so, not fair! Let's see if I can do this. Oh. So, your zombie survived, and I didn't manage to web him either. Apparently, okay. I still have stuff that can move. What can move? Oh, I can move, of course. I thought you just I... jumped on the back of your elephant. Oh, there's your elephant. I did. There. I did uh, jump on the oh, back of the it. elephant, but the it's the elephant that's now moving and not actually me. Oh man, that's not cool. There we go. Well, I think I think you should have a turn at least. Oh, thanks. I I really uh I'm really quite thankful that you've given. Oh, uh, you've given me a turn. Um. You know, I guess I should totally attack this, because otherwise, I'm never engaged to enemy. This is maybe the way to go. Oh, okay, I've got some, I've got a defensive shield that will protect me. I should have probably actually moved as well. Oh, well. Not that you have when... many places left to go. Oh, yes, well, I've got the high ground at least. Oh, and my man's webbed. Right, now, so that he means can't he can't go move. Anywhere. But can he still fight? Um... Ooh, good question. I don't believe he actually can. I think it's the same as with the gooey blob. If you're stuck in the gooey blob, you can't fight either. But I've made things a little bad for myself because I can't actually get to you from that side now. Yeah, unless you have a flying creature. Because we haven't got any flying creatures. What happened to them? We haven't. Not so far. Hmm. 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 I don't have anything here that I want to cast that can fly, so... What let's, have you got uh, now? Let's try Oh, the this. gooey blob! The gooey blob! And That's As everyone else is stuck, the... um, might as well let you have a turn. Oh, thanks. Okay, well, let, let me... I'm going to move the hay out of there. And... Uh, so you are stuck tr- between a zombie and a gooey place. Oh, that, that failed as well. And my zombie apparently is stuck, so he can't move. And the gooey is now, now totally cutting me off. Now your uh, zombie is now free, but I need to get it out of the way. Yeah, oh, no, but... I just webbed it again. <laughs> well, I think the gooey blob is going to be the next thing because it's it's going to block your path. I'm I am really backing myself into a corner. I do have to be careful now. Well, you, you've, you've managed to block things off. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I could be really, really nasty here. Yes, or unlucky, because, you know, we all know how the random number generator is the god that will not be appeased. There's plenty of unluck within this game. So, I mean, this is just the the combat part of the game. There is a whole... um, There's a whole world that you can control and everything as well, right? So it's lots of players fighting over lots of territory right uh, but all the yeah. battles are taking place in arenas yes i mean there's there's going to be a full um role-playing game element <clears throat> to chaos reborn and you will have uh, wizards occupying various ranks from uh, wizard lords up to wizard kings and you will also have uh, demigods and gods which can have their own guilds and they uh, certain ranks will be able to create their own realms within the within the game and you will be able to set challenges for other wizards who wish to come and test their steel against you. I believe there's also an offline mode where I can, you know, tool up my wizard and say, go and fight as an AI while I'm offline. And you will get experience and stuff. I think uh, that's the, wizard, lord, or above. Yes, anything above that, uh, that rank. And you can achieve these ranks through competitive play. Or you can and- back for that rank in the Kickstarter. You certainly can, yes. There are some uh, some limited spaces available at certain ranks, but you certainly can pick one of those ranks. But I'm just quickly trying... Oh, and it failed. Oh, oh. that shadow would oh. fail. Oh, are you just trying to make it harder? For... Okay. Whew. I don't know what I was trying to do. I Yeah, well... Oh, oh, oh great. I gotta, I'm going to move my dude one more space and try this. Oh, excellent! What, I've what got, have you got oh the magic bow. I get the, the magic bow. Free. The gooey oh, what blob are you gonna... spreading. The gooey blob is spreading inexorably across the game board. Okay, third time lucky on that uh, zombie. 
And no, it's still... No, that zombie is the zombie that will not die. And my lion, which is probably one of my most useful creatures right now, is blocked in the corner and cannot go You, you might anywhere. just start hoofing it around the long way at this rate. <laughs> Although you, you can't move your creatures over each other either at this stage, you right? You can't, no. They can't get past or through each other, which could potentially be problematic. Now, some of these are going to be a little wasted, but let's try it. Oh, oh and oh, shadow successful. Wood. Oh, the woods are closing in. No. So these things will attack me? Yeah, they work just like creatures, except they can't move, so Ex they do have a chance to... Uh, well, I can manually attack with them, so... Oh, man. But but not on this turn, so you're safe for now. Oh, I'm safe for now. You know what? If I move there... I, is that a really good idea to attack that 12% chance? Probably not. Well, you can try and kill them. Obviously, oh, if you kill oh. them, I can't attack you with them, but... I can attack with my zombie! <laughs> There you go! Zombie wins! Zombie wins! And I've lost one of my uh, one of my good creatures now as well. Yeah, the gooey blob is coming up his back. Oh, man. I'm try attack your zombie with my zombie. Oh, and there you go. Managed to get him but finally. now you can't get through that way. No, like, but I can get was... my lion out of the corner. Yes, you can. Although you could have got him out the corner a long time ago if you'd really cared. Y well, possibly. Possibly. Now, do I attack you with a tree? Oh, so I'm wait. Gonna... Oh! Oh! oh, only a 25% chance that a tree could have killed you. With my magic shield and all. With your and, magic and shield. And I died. And, all. and so then the cycle continues. I get resurrected back in my castle and I get to continue fighting and everything. But, you know, this is the classic chaos reborn, right? <laughs> See yes. what I did there? <laughs> yes, yeah, that was very. Um... Very elegant. Yes. I like it. I have learned some wordsmithery in my time, but clearly not learned much in the way of magic. I love the original Chaos, and uh, I love Chaos Reborn, and Unstable Voltage. I'm so happy you let me uh, get beaten by you. <laughs> I'm sure it will be the first of many victories. And uh, hopefully I will start winning at some point. But yeah, so the deal is Kickstarter, how many days has it got? Uh, Kickstarter currently at this time has 19 days left and it is a little over halfway funded. It's also just recently gone onto Steam Greenlight as well, so you can go and vote for it there. But you know, here's the thing: uh, I have to be honest with that, and if I uh, I won't buy it on Greenlight because I'm backing it in the Kickstarter big time. So assuming Definitely. the Kickstarter succeeds, I won't actually buy it on Steam. It's definitely worth kickstarting because there are so many different options you have to uh, back at a tier that will give you instant access to become a wizard lord or a wizard king or a demigod or even a god. And if you back and start at that level, you can never be demoted. So even if you play really badly, or like me, even if you, <laughs> or even if you don't play for a long time, you will never ever get demoted below that rank. Ah, so this and is great for the EVE Online players. We can become really good at not playing another game. Well, yes, exactly. You can you can uh, also, as you say, gain gold and experience by not playing. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some very good options for backers in there. But, you also get to create your own equipment from the Wizard Lord level and above as well. You create your own magical hat, your magical staff, and your magical robe. And you can ooh. name them and choose their statistics as well. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, that's that's awesome. I'm, I, um, I'm all about this because, you know, it's my kind of thing. Um, so the, the largest set of battles they support right now is four versus four. Will it? Uh, and you can do cooperative, you know, two versus two as well at the moment the current plan for chaos reborn is a maximum of six players the original was eight um theoretically it can manage eight but we don't know whether or not that's going to be in the final game at this time but yes there'll be a variety of options free for alls um human players only or and ai be, versus humans yeah there'll be ai encounters as well you can i mean there's an entire offline single player uh, campaign as well Ooh. against AI. So that's and more the, like Lords of Chaos. Well it is and the best thing is the, the some of the AI wizards you meet along your journey in the single player campaign will actually be the offline wizards that belong to real players. 
No, oh, well, that's uh, and that's what I'm planning to do. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much. No, thank you indeed. It was an enjoyable game. Oh.